Hey everyone, Joe here. Welcome back to the Audacity Accelerator course. In this part, I'm gonna be going over how to set up a USB microphone to record audio into Audacity. I'll go over a typical installation process and show you the settings that you'll need to use in Audacity to get it working. Before we start, let's quickly talk about USB microphones, what they are and what they do. Now, if you saw part five, you'll be familiar with audio interfaces and what they do for your audio. But in brief, what an audio interface does is boost the signal of your microphone so it's sufficient for recording. Uh, it avoids any nasty noise and things by using a preamp that's built in. Now, if you buy a, an audio interface and a microphone that's gonna plug into that, it's gonna cost you a little bit more than just buying a USB microphone. A USB microphone has it all built in. A USB microphone is a simple and cheaper solution. You can plug it directly into the USB port and it's gonna give you a sufficient level coming in um, when you're recording and also it's gonna avoid any sort of noise providing you get a, a nice high quality one. So let's go through how to install your USB mic and get it set up in Audacity. So here we are in the project window. I've got my USB microphone uh, and I've got the USB to XLR cable that it came with. So it's got USB on one end to plug into your computer and XLR on the other end to plug into the mic. Now, if you've got a dedicated USB microphone, um, you're probably gonna have a different kind of connector on that end to plug into your mic, but it will work exactly the same. The setup will vary depending on what microphone you have, but, the, but it's pretty much the same across the board. So in the project window, the main thing we need to be focusing on is our devices. So we've got the device toolbar here, which shows what we're recording from. Um, I'm currently, it's currently set to my audio interface. If you watched the previous video, you'll have seen me set that up. Uh, and it's going out from, from the audio interface as well, which is where the speakers are plugged in. Uh, if you're just using your computer audio, your, your Mac or your PC, you're probably gonna have this set to something like primary sound driver, uh, or real tech audio, something signifying the computer and the speakers that are plugged into the computer itself. And then same again, you might have primary sound capture driver or something similar for your input if you don't have an audio interface. But let's go to edit and preferences. So edit preferences and then into the devices, uh, the devices tab. Basically we've got the same settings here, it's just a little bit clearer. Um, it's got a couple of extra options, so we're gonna have a look at that for now. So I'm gonna plug my microphone in. Some microphones have an XLR input and a USB input, so you can use them for both your interface and plugging directly into the USB port. And then the USB end is gonna go into one of the spare USB ports on, on my PC. Now, you might have an on switch on yours, depending on the microphone. I'm just gonna flick mine on. I'm gonna hold this just to demonstrate, but ideally you wanna have a boom arm holding the microphone in a cradle um, or a, a desk stand at the very least. I know some have them built in, like the the, uh, the Blue Yeti, for example, has a desk stand built in, but mounting it on a boom arm would be ideal. So we've got that plugged in. Now, what we need to change, we'd, I'm not gonna change the the, uh, the playback device because um, I'm still going to be hearing this, you know, you haven't changed the speakers or the headphones or anything. That's going to re remain the same. But the recording device needs to change. Now, when you plug a USB microphone in, you might find that it will automatically install some drivers or your mic may have come with a disc to install some drivers, but normally they're just plug and play. You can just plug them in and it will work without any hassle. Um, but you're going to need to do one of two things now. So either in your recording options, you'll see something new appearing in the devices. You might see uh, you know, the name of the, the manufacturer of your microphone, um, or it might just say generic microphone input. For example, now I've plugged mine in, in the Windows audio, you can see that it's got down here generic USB audio device. But in, in Audacity, for this particular microphone, it doesn't change and it just goes through the primary uh, sound capture driver for Windows. So. I cancel out that we can do it from the from the uh, device toolbar instead. So if I change the record, you got the mic there, the recording device to primary sound capture driver. Now if I hit record, testing one two three. Hello hello hello. Here we go. So you see it's it's coming up with some signal. And if we play back, just uh, click with the selection tool and hit play or press space. 
Hello, hello, hello. Here we go. So you see it's, it's coming up with some signal and if we play back and there we go so we've recorded successfully using the usb microphone now if you're not getting any signal check your recording devices there may be something else there that you're missing um, you can also try reloading audacity or changing your windows or mac system uh, audio device to uh, to the new audio device that you've plugged in and then seeing if it if it appears in in your recording devices in audacity now, as I said at the beginning, you do have a little bit less flexibility with the USB microphone. Um, some of them are gonna have a volume knob on there, which is great, some of them don't. So if you don't, then you can use the recording volume slot fader here. So as obviously coming in a little bit quieter, uh, let's try again, then we're getting a bit more volume. Have a listen back. Try again, then we're getting a bit more volume. Have a listen back. Yeah, so if you've got a good USB microphone, you can get very good um, very good quality audio from there, and that would be perfect for something like a podcast, uh, especially a dynamic type microphone like this, not getting any room sound, just a nice, warm recording. With your USB microphone all set up, we're at the stage where we can start learning about how to record, which is what we'll be going over in part seven. And as a reminder, at the end of this course, I'll be sharing with you something super useful that you can download for free to speed up your workflow and boost your skills further. So hit that subscribe button and the bell icon below so you're notified when that next video is up. Leave a like if this helped you and let me know in the comments section below which USB microphone are you using to record. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part seven.